Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortron Academy. My name is Harshwats and today I will help you in understanding the snowflake schema in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is an analytical software that will help you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us go forward and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will cover what is snowflake schema and in the second part I will tell you how does it work in model view and taking you to show an example in Power BI desktop. Now let's go forward and talk about what is star schema. The star schema is a logical arrangement of table in a multi-dimensional database such that the ER diagram resembles a snowflake shape. A snowflake schema is an extension of the star schema and it's add additional dimension. The dimension are normalized which splits data into additional tables. That means it's a just an extension of the star schema. In my previous video I have explained to you about the star schema that if there is one fact population table and this table is connected with two th three dimensional table but the fact population table is always in the center but in a snowflake schema it is completely different but it resembles something like this if you see this snowflake you will see there is one circle in the middle if you think that circle as a fact population you can say a fact table then you will go through one extension this is a one branch and this branch has two nodes in between and if these two nodes will lead into two more branches and in between to the two nodes we will think of one dimension table and at the end of each branch will think of another dimension table that means one node is connected with two dimension table and that the middle node will be connected to the fat population and that node with uh, uh, the previous this is like a superstructure like this is a substructure and again there is a substructure within substructure which has a node in here that is also a dimension table and it connects with two more branches and it all will lead to one fat population and it repeats in a lot of ways like this is a snowflake now let's go forward and talk about the characteristics of the snowflake schema so the main benefit of the snowflake schema it uses a smaller disk space compared to the star schema while it's easier to implement a dimension is added to the schema and thirdly due to the multiple tables query performance is reduced and fourthly the primary challenge that you will face while using the snowflake schema is that you need to perform more maintenance effort because of the more lookup tables and why these characteristics i hope you have understood it but it is not that much clear from the characteristic that what I am talking about. Now I will show you everything and explain all this character with the real data. So before going there I will again go further and show you what the star schema in probably the natural way look like. So in here if you see this is a fact table. Fact table is connected with a dimension table. So this is a simple if I just separate this from the other tables and separate this one and this this dimension and this dimension this will simply these three look like a star schema but now if i connect it to this dimension table because this dimension table is also connected with another dimension two tables so this is how you know that our star schema or say the extension of star schema is in work which we can call the snowflake schema now as in characteristics i have told you about that why there are lot of just the reduced reduction of a disk space now if you see in a dimension table we have a location id region and in the dimension other table we have a country id name and in this dimension table we have a dealer id location id country id dealer nm dealer c and tct now if you look now we have a region so this is not present in dimension table so it will create much more column in a dimension table if i introduce a region again in here if i introduce a country name in here again it will take some space in this dimension table that means in spite of the five column we have seven column 
and this is again repeated with this same things so this is why it reduce and take less space now let's go forward in a power bi desktop and see with the real data what it looks like now we are in power bi desktop so i have introduced certain tables which have three dimensional table and one fact population now to understand the model interface you have to go into the model view so there are three views that is in power bi desktop data modeling that one is data view report view and model view data view generally shows us the table which we do not require at this position so we'll directly go into the model view so if you go into the model view you see a little different type of table and it is little bit confusing at the first but if you look closely you will understand what i have done so if this is a fact population this is a branch this is a node and this node is connected with this node and this node is connected with this node that means the is a, this is a superstructure there is structure within structure so let me show you why it takes a less of space like i have a product country category product category id and within this subcategory we have a category id but we do not have a data for name modify date and row gate but we have only the name but the modify date and row gate is absent in here so we will use this product category to uh, differentiate and long it with a Uh, subcategory. Now, if the subcategory will look into and introduce that subcategory into product. So, if we just see that why we combined this data with this. So, we do not have a modified date. We do not have a name. We do not have a category. So, we just combine it using. So, we just combine it using name. So, English product name and this name we combined it. so we do not have to introduce the lot of columns in our dimensional product table and if i introduce that that means 2 4 5 5 4 4 9 9 nine column more that means already we have eight columns and more nine columns will new be introduced into a product table and that will create a havoc in our data now it is easy for us to make a different table and that will lead to our snowflake schema now you have understood i hope you have understood that why snowflake schema is actually present in most of the data set because you will see a lot that people talk about the star schema but generally in a normal that means if you have a lot of data and the normalized data generally have this snowflake schema rather than the star schema because the star schema is not generally been basically found but if possible always go for the star schema technique because the snowflake schema is not that easy to understand if you have understood it you should always go for the star schema because it will get a little but less load in your power bi desktop and take up less ram because it will create always the lot of tables and if one table has a lot of data it will create a huge difference in your query editor speed as well so kindly look it very carefully that how this is connected like if i click on this um, relationship you will see the product category id we just combine this category and subcategory with this thing after that when i click on it you will see we will connected in the name and when i go from the product to internet sales we just connected them with a product key you can see we have we have not used a common thing that there is no common thing that is present in all the four tables is just this has common with this this has common with this this has common with this that's why it's a substructure so i hope you have understood that so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries have been cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section and we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day